Hi ladies, so I just want to talk to you about how I apply my oils to my hair. Um, sometimes I do make my own little concoction and mix them all together, but tonight I'm just going to kind of put them in one by one, lather, lather my hair um, with the oil and just show you how I apply it to my hair. This is a flexi rod set that's gotten a little old and I just you know pulled it up looking like a big ponytail although it's not but that's how I pulled it up um, with its here and I just doubled it like that and pulled all my hair up to make it last a little bit longer um, because it didn't look right down anymore so, the first oil I'm going to start with is my coconut oil. And I'm going to go ahead and get the tops off of all of them so my hands, they get oily and it's hard to unscrew or open the bottles. So, coconut oil, um, and I'm not sure if you read my blog post about all of the oils I'm going to apply to my hair, um, but if you go to mynatural.rocks, you'll be able to see more in detail about what, what each of these oils will do for your hair. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and apply my coconut oil, and I don't get a, a lot, um, get a good amount, make it a little more than this. And I go ahead and massage it into my scalp, rub it on my edges, just get it all over. I'm gonna get a little bit more, put it on my ends. And this flexi rod I've had since Saturday. And it's now Thursday night going on Friday um, and it'll, it'll be almost a week so it's lasted for some time now the next thing I'm gonna put in is my Jamaican black castor oil how I love this so and I just pour I don't know if you can see that this stuff is kind of thick but it's awesome and once I put all my all my oils in, I like to flip my head over and do the inversion method where I'm massaging in for a few minutes, um, bring my head back up slowly, and it helps stimulate hair growth um, by getting that blood flowing um, and circulation going in the head. And like I said, I'm going to leave the link below where you can read about all of these oils on my blog. And you can also purchase them if you like. But they definitely they stimulate hair growth. They help with baldness. I mean, they help with hair thickness. These oils are very, very, very essential to the hair. So definitely um, look at that if you don't know much about it. If you do know about it, you can definitely go there and purchase it if you like. And the link will be in the description. Now I'm putting some aloe vera oil in my hair. And I just did about the same amount that you saw for the um for the black castor oil. Shh. Sorry, that's my son. You definitely want to get those edges. You know we need our edges. Mine have come back a lot this side especially I have to show you a picture of how it was before it has repaired a lot next I'm going to do my grapeseed oil don't know if you can see that it's running down 
And same thing, get it into that scalp, get it on those edges, get on the ends here. All right, finally, I'm gonna do um, rosemary oil and also my peppermint oil. And these are very strong. That is why you saw me put all of the other oils in first because these are very minty, very, very strong oils and they need a base oil, carrier oil before applying it. You do not need a lot. I repeat, you do not need a lot. They are very strong oils. Rosemary oil and peppermint oil, very, very strong. So just be careful on how you apply that. I did not use a lot at all. And this comes like in a, it has a little dropper and I'm gonna put about maybe 10 drops. And get that worked and I can smell it, it's very strong. So just be mindful of how much you're putting in because you don't want to overwhelm your scalp. It's gonna, you're gonna feel some tingles and you're gonna definitely know it's working. And now I'm gonna flip my head over and I'm sitting down. So I'm gonna flip my head over and bring this down. I'll do it this way because you can't see that well. And I'm just gonna massage. Some massage my head, get that blood flow going and circulating, help some stimulate some of that hair growth. And this is called the inversion method. And you definitely want your head to be, um, you know, between your legs and flipped over. Be careful when you do this, it can make you a little dizzy. You don't want to bring your head up too fast. If you're pregnant, you definitely want to be cautious. I don't think you can do this while pregnant. Um, but definitely just move very slowly. My camera ran out of uh, space on my phone here um, doing it on my phone but anyhow um, sorry I put a plastic bag over it to go ahead and start my greenhouse effect overnight here um, and for you for you who for you who don't <laughs> know what the greenhouse effect is um, it is basically exactly what it sounds like um, just think of a greenhouse and that moisture is going to seep into my scalp. My hair is going to really condition that moisture inside of my um, hair shaft and everything and it's going to help stimulate growth. Um, and that's what I'm doing here. So not only did I do the inversion method and rub the oils in, but I'm going to really get these oils locked in my hair here and get my greenhouse effect going. Um, so I'm going to do that um, with my plastic cap here. And I do feel the effects of my oil. And I'm going to tie my scarf over it so I can lock it in as, as best as possible. Because um, you definitely want to want to get that hair nice and long and healthy. So...
All right, so we're getting that moisture locked in so we can stimulate hair growth. And I'm gonna go to bed. I do this overnight, um, not every night, but as much as I can. It's, you can't do it too much, you can't do it too little, um, but I definitely, the more the better to me. Um, so I hope that helped in showing you one of um, my nighttime routines and showing you my hair oils and what I use and um, the inversion and greenhouse effect. Hopefully that helps you guys. Have a good night. Mm.